right now on Denver 7 News at 5, a loss felt around the world. But my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family. Queen Elizabeth II has died at age 96. We're hearing about the impact of her reign after seven decades on the throne. I wanted her to see the century, having been England's longest serving monarch. This is the end of an era. I've only known the Queen. Um, she's been the head of uh, state for forever. And taking a look at what comes next for the United Kingdom. <laughs> Happening right now, the Larimer County Sheriff's Office is issuing mandatory evacuations in the area of County Road 66 and County Road 21 because of a fire. The Sheriff's Office tweeted out the alert in the last 30 minutes. They say there's a fire southwest of that intersection and we're working to learn more and we'll update you as soon as we can. All right to London now. This is a live look. It is midnight in London and this is outside Buckingham Palace where crowds are gathering to mourn the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Welcome to Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Jessica Porter. And I'm Shannon Ogden. We have team coverage for you tonight. Inez de la Quatera is in London tonight. Denver 7's Patrick Perez is talking to people in Denver about the impact of this beloved queen. And we're going to be again, uh, begin tonight in London. Good afternoon, Shannon and Jessica. Millions around the world are in mourning after Her Majesty's 70 years on the throne. The palace saying in a statement the Queen died peacefully this afternoon at her estate in Scotland. The longest serving monarch in British history has died. Queen Elizabeth II passing away at Balmoral Castle, her estate in Scotland, where she had been on summer break. The royal family, including her sons Prince Andrew and Prince Edward, rushing to her side, along with her grandsons Prince William and Prince Harry. The 96-year-old's death comes after she canceled a virtual meeting Wednesday. Her doctors, concerned about her health, advising her to rest. She was last seen in public Tuesday when she swore in UK's new Prime Minister Liz Truss, born on April 24. First, 1926, Her Majesty was never expected to take the throne. That changed in 1936 when her father unexpectedly became King George VI after his older brother's abdication. She won public admiration by doing her part during World War II, training as a truck driver and a mechanic soon after marrying Navy officer Philip Mountbatten. Prince Charles, born in 1948, was the first of their four children. After battling an illness, her father died when she was abroad in Kenya in 1952. 25-year-old princess, now queen. There were low moments among the highs. It has turned out to be an annus horribilis. In 1997, when Princess Diana died in a car crash in Paris, the queen faced backlash after taking several days to publicly mourn and pay tribute to her former daughter-in-law. More recently, her son Prince Andrew, embroiled in a sex scandal rocking the monarchy to its foundations, along with the family's turbulent relationship with Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle. But through it all, the queen remaining the steady center of her growing family and always supported by Prince Philip, her husband of 73 years, until his death in April 2021. Today marks the end of the second Elizabethan age, the end of an extraordinary reign that spans seven decades and so much change. A family and a nation saying goodbye to a much-loved matriarch and monarch. And the Queen's funeral will take place in 10 days. It is expected to be held at Westminster Abbey following a period of national mourning. As for what's next for the monarchy, Prince Charles immediately becomes king. And then in due time, both he and Camilla will be crowned side by side. In London, Inez de la Quatera, Denver 7. Inez, thank you. Queen Elizabeth II's reign began on February 6th, 1952. So let's give you some more context here. That was just six years after the end of World War II, and the Korean War was still going on. Through her reign as queen, there were 15 different UK prime ministers, 14 US presidents, and seven popes. When she took over as Queen Cry by Johnny Ray at the Four Lads was the top song in the US, and The Greatest Show on Earth was released a month earlier, which was the top grossing movie of the year. And look at this, a double rainbow appeared over Buckingham Palace just when news broke of the Queen's death. Crowds gathered really almost immediately outside to show their love and support for this beloved queen and for the greater royal family.
and it is a sad day for Britons really all over the world. Today, Denver 7's Patrick Perez spoke with several Brits living in Denver about what her death means to them. And he joins us live outside GB Fish and Chips on South Broadway. Patrick. Hey, Shannon, I spoke with an employee here a few hours ago who told me lots of people have stopped by today. They get a meal in honor of the Queen. The restaurant, if you're not familiar with it, is part of a chain here in Colorado, and it is known for uh, its authenticity and attracting people from all over the UK and the Commonwealth to have what they say is authentic fish and chips, meat pies, you name it, nothing like food from home. Patrick Fogarty, an employee here, lived in England for most of his life, but he has spent it here for the past 14 years. He tells me the Queen Queen's passing was expected, but nonetheless still sad as it means the end of an era. He says the biggest question everyone likely has on their minds right now is what is going to happen next. All many of them have known for their entire lives is the Queen as their head of state. Everyone just loves it. Like she's always been there. She's always been cool. It's kind of when your grandma dies, you know what to do kind of thing. People mourn back in Britain. People mourn as a big collective kind of thing. I remember when Diana died, the whole country came out. So that was more of a shock. We've been waiting years for this. So something I have heard over and over again is from our local Brits here is that this may bring people together. There is a lot of division across the pond and they're hoping that by mourning for the Queen, they will find some common ground. Plus, Patrick tells me with the new prime minister and England potentially winning the, fi the uh, FIFA Cup, the World Cup this year, this may be the one of the best years in uh, Britain's history or one of the worst. We'll have to wait and find out. I have more coming up at six o'clock. For now, live in Denver, I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7. Patrick, thank you. And digging deeper tonight, the question on everyone's mind, what's next for the throne? Prince Charles has immediately become king, but official ceremonies won't carry out for quite some time. Today, I chatted with Martin Rhodes, who is a professor at DU's Joseph Corbell School of International Studies. He says there is a lot that goes into preparing for a coronation ceremony, and you need a decent amount of time to pass for the ceremony to occur. A coronation won't happen for probably some months. I think it was a year between when Queen Elizabeth became Queen and when she was, um, the coronation ceremony took place. Why such a long amount of time? I think there's just a, a lot of, 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 I mean, there's a huge amount of pomp and ceremony in those, those occasions. And I think there's just a massive amount of preparation that has to be done. A lot of tradition to be carried out. And there is a lot that Professor Rhodes and I covered today. Coming up tonight on Denver 7 News at 6, we look at the what the future holds for the monarchy and the challenges King Charles will face. And Governor Polis shared his condolences today in a tweet. He said Colorado celebrates and honors the life and memory of Her Royal Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who passed away today at age 96. He says she brought compassion, kindness, and dedication to her job every day and is mourned not only by her subjects, but by people across the world. Mayor Hancock also released a statement saying through it all she was a focal point of stability and comfort for her people in the most difficult of time and a symbol of pride and hope in the best. We will continue to follow the developments following the Queen's death, including how this impacts people here in the Metro, coming up on Denver 7 News at 6. It's a Denver 7 weather action day for the heat, but this cold front means a big change for tomorrow. What started out as a dream home improvement project quickly turns into a search for lost money and answers. So I handed it to him in cash. He counted it out and that was that. You reached out to contact Denver 7 and we pressed for answers. She wants to know what's going on. Well, the problem, I, she, she knows what's going on in my life. Like all the, all the stuff that I'm just telling you guys right now, she knows it. We're getting to the bottom of how one contractor is taking people's money and not doing the work. 